Hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about a repaired rear Hanover display unit and this unit was in the back of a 4-4 series in Leicester and the heater matrix behind the back seat for the passenger heaters basically um, split and filled the whole area behind the back seat with steam and the steam obviously condensated out on this destination got inside and basically destroyed it however we have some random spares at the garage and one of them was a faulty front display and the, fr the front display only had one panel that worked and the motherboard still worked so I have transferred those into this unit and what I'm going to do now is power up this unit and we're going to show an error that I've now got because the display still thinks it's a front and I need to change the dip switches inside but there is also a way you can do it on the Hanover display Derek Plus and we'll do that and first thing we'll do is we'll turn it on and you'll see one LED come on in the top left hand corner and then the display will work Now if you see any buses driving around the UK and the rear display is doing something like this this is because the display has been set to the wrong setting and you have either got to go to the get inside the display and if it's fitted in the bus that is almost impossible or you can act, as I said you can do it on the Derek plus controller plus some other controllers as well and to do that you need to press the red button twice so it says lock code put in the lock code press the button and you what I need to do is go through the settings to signs and then I need to go and change this sign which is obviously number it's number two which currently thinks it's a front back to a rear and basically rears two or star and I do that I press this button and then get out of it the controller will automatically load and come back on and the display should be now correct oh yes perfect and one other thing you can do obviously I do after fixing displays is make sure all the LEDs are working and software and we can do that again by going in the lock code this one is 0101 and we can go to show status test signs and if I test the sign it'll tell you what version it's running this how many LEDs which it is which I believe was 32 by 17 the P10 slash 100 is how bright it currently is and then it tests the LEDs and basically it'll keep rotating round this until you turn it back off anyway I hope you enjoyed this short video of this um, now repaired Hanover display uh, currently being controlled by a Derek Plus unit with the three buttons and my little power supply and what we'll do now is we'll exit that and I'm going to change to or we'll say not in service and we should get an X and we'll finish this short video and I'll say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed some further information I'm going to do the side destination and the front destinations as well hopefully in the following video however due to size it'll probably be done in a quiet place at work well anyway, I hope you to enjoyed this and thanks again for watching goodbye